Alright guys, welcome back to your ninth C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to make a real quick program and I'm going to show you guys a trick to make your future programming a whole lot easier. So for this magic trick to work, we actually need another function. So just go ahead, it's going to return void, name it funky, funky function and all it's going to do is print out something on the screen. So um, pass it in void, get back void. So go ahead. I forgot you can't copy that you have to use the keyboard shortcuts so go ahead and add a body and of course since we're printing out something we need using name space STDs for using namespace standard and C out and let's just print out um, bacon and tuna look good look good to you looks good to me and of course let's print out something here like I don't know, it doesn't really matter. C out, um, I kissed a girl and I liked it. If you can name that singer, you win a prize. All right, and now let's go ahead and call funky. So what we're doing is printing something out on the screen, calling this function, which in turn calls this. And so we should, when you run this, get some text on the screen. Nothing you haven't seen before. I kissed the girl and I liked it that's coming from main and bacon and tuna which is coming from this funky method alright so simple enough and if you guys are saying alright first of all you guys I told you I was going to be teaching you a trick involving using namespace standard but before I even tell you guys what the trick is let me show you guys why you need this in each of your functions let's go ahead and comment this out and this pretty much means make it visible to the programmer but to the compiler this line is not here at all so it's pretty much let's go ahead and do this there let's go ahead and delete that line completely and try to run this program because I told you guys that you need that line but maybe I was lying to you so let's go ahead and run this and you see this little red box and I know you can't see it but it says error message C out was not declared in the scope and that is why you need using namespace standard every time you write a function it's because it gives you access to the basic um, functions already built into C++ and one of those is C out alright so that's why you need using namespace standard um, I guess I didn't really need to show that to you guys but I just wanted to prove you guys they actually did need it and I wasn't just BSing you so that wasn't the trick the trick is this check this out whenever we build programs I mean by now you saw that we can build programs using more than one function but whenever you build an actual program that you know you might want to sell or you do it for maybe a class in college or anytime you build a fully functioning program it doesn't have two functions it doesn't have three functions it has like hundreds and hundreds of functions and they're all tied together into this huge program so when you ever build a bunch of functions we really want to only concentrate on the useful stuff right here and we don't want to have to remember typing using namespace std in every time so here's what we can do go ahead and delete using namespace std and take it out of every single function now instead of putting it in the functions individually what we can do is right under your include go ahead and put using namespace std right at the top of your program outside every single function and now let's go ahead and run this program and check it out it works perfectly how awesome is that so now you're saying all right Bucky what the heck this just happened why does this work well it works because of this Whenever you post something at the top of your program, and we'll talk technically about what's it called, it's called scope, and we'll talk about that later, but for now just remember this. Whenever we post this at the top of our program, every function in our file, that is the function that it affects. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is this. Whenever we post it under the include, it affects every function in the file so this takes away the hassle of having to type it in individually on every single function so anyways that's the only trick I wanted to tell you guys this isn't going to be a 10 minute long tutorial 
that's the only thing I wanted to cover and I wanted to stress it so that's why I needed to put it in uh, our own tutorial so anyways hopefully you guys see why this program works now and now in the future when you see this at the top and not in any other functions you understand how this program works so anyways I'm not gonna waste any more of your time um, that's what my other tutorials are for so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out my forum website yada 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 do all that and uh yeah I'll see you guys later